Today we are going to learn liquidity preference framework and how it helps us to understand the relationship between interest rate and money. This framework determines interest rate based on supply of and demand for money developed by John Maynard Keynes. The main assumption is that people only have two categories of assets to store wealth, money and bond. The MD curve or the demand for money slopes downward because for higher interest rate, people demand less money. As the opportunity cost of holding money is really high, people hold less money and invest more money. MS curve or the supply of money curve is a vertical line because central bank controls the amount of money supplied at a fixed quantity. Now we are going to learn how to establish market equilibrium interest rate. At point A, demand for money is at 100 but supply fixed at 300. At point B, demand for money is at 200 but supply fixed at 300. At point C, demand and supply both are at 300. At point D, demand for money is at 400 but supply fixed at 300. Point E, demand for money is at 500 but supply fixed at 300. We can see the equilibrium point at point C. So, supply is fixed at 300 but demand changes at different interest rate. But the question is how to reach the equilibrium point C. At point A, the excess supply of money means that people are holding more money than they desire. So they will try to get rid of their excess money balances by trying to buy bonds. So extra demand for bond will bid the price up as bond price rises, the interest rate will fall downward. But the question is why does interest rate go downward when bond price and demand go up? If bond demand goes high, price will go up as there is enough demand. When there is higher demand, issuer of bond will offer lower interest rate thus interest rate goes down. At point E, excess demand for money exists because they want to hold more money as the opportunity cost of holding money is really low like 5% interest rate. So people sell bond and interest rate goes up as a result of more supply of bond and less demand of bond. Bond issuer will offer more interest rate to increase demand and everything will move toward the equilibrium point. Now we are going to learn the factors that shifts the demand and supply for money. As income level goes up, people want to hold more money for more expenditure. So MD curve or the money demand curve shifts rightward. Interest rate goes up, economy moves from point 1 to point 2. As price level goes up, people want to hold more money to buy same quantity of goods. So MD curve again shifts rightward. Interest rate rises and economy moves from point 1 to point 2. Supply of money is controlled by central bank. So increase in money supply shifts MS curve or money supply curve rightward and decreases the interest rate. Economy moves from point 1 to point 2.